Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flocky shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Mirabah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. All creatures of our God and King, lift up your voices and with us sing, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thou burning sun with golden beam, thou silver moon with softer gleam. O praise him, O praise him, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. Thou rushing winds that are so strong, ye clouds that sail in heaven along, O praise him, hallelujah. Thou rising morn in praise rejoice, ye lights of evening find a voice, O praise him, O praise him, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is is ready. My heart is ready, O God, I will sing, sing your praise. Awake my soul, awake lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. O come and deliver your friends, Help with your right hand and reply from his holy place. God has made this promise. I will triumph and divide the land of Shechem. I will measure out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh. Ephraim I take from for my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. Moab I will use for my washbowl. On Eden I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines, I will shout in triumph. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Edom? Will you utterly reject us, O God, and no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God we shall do bravely, and he will trample down our foes. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Accept the prayers of your servants, Lord, and prepare our hearts to praise your holy name. Come to our aid in time of trouble, and make us worthy to sing you songs of thanksgiving. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. The Lord has robed me with grace and salvation. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, and my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants, and a garden makes its growing spring up, 
so will the Lord make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nation shall behold your vindication and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord. A royal diadem held by your God. No more shall men call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has robed me with grace and salvation. I will praise my God all the days of my life. My soul, give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days, make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, who is hope, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free, the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and the orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God, from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God of glory and power, those who have put all their trust in you are happy indeed. Shine the brightness of your light on us so that we may love you always with a pure heart. I will praise my God all the days of my life. A reading from Deuteronomy chapter 4. Know and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on the earth below, and that there is no other. You must keep his statutes and commands, which I enjoin on you today. I will bless the Lord all my life long. I will bless the Lord all my life long. With a song of praise ever on my lips all my life long. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I will bless the Lord all my life long. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
Let us serve the Lord in holiness all the days of our life. Christ, the splendor of God's glory, enlightens us with his word. With deep love we call upon him. Hear us, King of eternal glory. Blessed are you, the Alpha and the Omega of our faith, for you called us out of darkness into your marvelous light. You enable the blind to see, the deaf to hear. Help our unbelief. Lord, keep us in your love. Preserve our community. Do not let us become separated from one another. Give us strength in temptation, endurance in trial, and gratitude in prosperity. Let us make our prayers and praise complete by offering the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, keep in mind your holy covenant, sealed with the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of your people, and let this new day bring us closer to salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.